morning. Oh, come on, do that again. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, welcome to Joliet Area Community Hospice and our amazing Veterans Garden. That's a good idea. So um, this are... property has been consecrated to the mission right, of caring for the sick and dying, has provided comfort and peace to countless members of our community. The impact of our hospice home and the services we provide have far exceeded the vision that initially inspired the community to develop this organization. What was true then is true today. Joliet Area Community Hospice is our community's hospice. We thank you for your support and we guard the trust that you have afforded us. While we recognize the strong historic bond between Joliet Hospice and our community, today is another example of how we remain forward thinking in our mission to best serve those entrusted in our care. We remain steadfast in our community, our commitment to our veterans and their loved ones. This parcel of ground, we commit to the honor and memory of those who have served the cause of peace, both here and around the world. I wanna share one family quote that I think is very inspiring and um, for you to hold in your heart as we proceed through this morning. <clears throat> this is from Sharon Sullivan about the care of her dad. Hospice is about shifting mindset. With the focus on quality of life, Joliet Area Community Hospice made it clear that we were making the best choices for my dad. From admission to dad's death, the entire staff was fantastic. My family has a warm feeling of gratitude for the pride, honor, and dignity veterans pinning ceremony. We knew dad was a veteran, but discovered so much more through this program. It was amazing that hospice recognized dad for his services to our country exactly 66 years to the day of the battle he fought and won in France. I would like to now invite James Baskin up for a prayer. Thank you, Mary. Shall we pray? Father, as we come now at this time to dedicate this land and remember those that have served in our armed forces that we might have a right to stand here today. We ask thy blessings upon this veterans garden. We ask thy blessings upon Jolly and Erie Community Hospice <clears throat> and upon those that gather in this place on today. That you would always remind us of your beautiful and your wonderful caring blessings that you've bestowed upon us. We ask now, Father, that those that have served and have given their lives and that you would remember their loved ones and their families on today. And this we ask now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Now I'd like to invite Tom up for the Pledge of Allegiance. like to welcome our music therapist to sing America the Beautiful. Please feel free to sing along. <laughs> Want me to hold it for you? Uh, yes, it's got it. Thank you. Thank you. 
I need to practice that second verse, though. All right. Um, now I'd like to recognize our very special guest, Congressman Bill Foster. Congressman Foster is a scientist and a businessman representing the 11th Congressional District of Illinois. He has served as congressman since March of 28. Before he became a member of Congress, Bill worked as a high-energy physicist and particle accelerator designer at Fermi National Accelerator Lab. Bill lives in Naperville with his wife, who's also a physicist, and they have two grown children. Bill's father was a civil rights lawyer who wrote much of the enforcement language behind the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Please welcome Congressman Bill Foster. Thank you, thank you so much. And, and thank you for that beautiful music. Um, you know, that, that contains my favorite couplet in all of the patriotic mu music of our country. Uh, confirm thy soul through self-control, thy liberty and law. And that, those, are, those are words that we should think about uh, in, our, in our country, especially today. And well, good morning, everyone. Um, thank you for inviting me to, to speak here today. It's, it's such an honor to be with all of you. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Congressman Bill Foster. I'm a scientist and businessman, and it's my honor to represent the Joliet area as part of the 11th Congressional District of Illinois in the United States House of Representatives. Uh, so I'd really like to thank the Joliet Area Community Hospice for hosting this ceremony uh, to honor our veterans and those, everyone whose memory we honor. Be taking the time and the effort of, to honor those who served our country is not a new concept for the Joliet Community Hospice. It's always been their practice to inquire about the military history of their patients and to thank them for their service. Uh, my father, as was mentioned, was a civil rights lawyer, but he was also a Navy veteran. And I remember near, as he neared the end of his life and ultimately entered hospice care, um, his, when he took the final accounting of his life, uh, his military service became more and more important to him as he remembered not only his service but those in high school with him, some of whom did not come back uh, from the war. And so it's really, um, it's really important that we, we never forget that. So I want to especially thank the veterans that are here today with us uh, and thank you for your service for our country. Thank you all. You know, I'm, I'm always struck by the humility that our veterans display when they talk about their service, and that's why I'm glad we're having this ceremony. This is our chance to show the veterans our gratitude for all that they've sacrificed in the defense of us. Because history has taught us that whenever there's a disaster strikes, the world looks to the United States to lead. And the reason they look to America is simple. They know that the men and women who wear our nation's uniform are extraordinary people who have continually risen to meet the challenges of their time. At the core of American values, there has always been a commitment to service, and the men and women who volunteer to serve in our nation's armed forces and who offer to lay down their lives for their country make sacrifices that most of us cannot imagine. So on behalf of the people of the 11th Congressional District, thank you all.
All right. Now it's time to dedicate the garden. So only three years after it became a vision, the Joliet Area Community Hospice will dedicate our garden today. The, gar the, the Veterans Memorial Garden is a place of reflection and honor. The Flag Galleria stands amidst marble monuments representing each branch of the U.S. military. Students from Jones Elementary School, Minooka School District, civic organizations, community members, and individuals donated funds to make this dream a reality. A $100,000 grant from the Joliet Township government allowed the garden to be built this past year. The Veterans Garden is open to the community for those who wish to reflect and remember their loved one who have served our country. We, our intention is to honor all veterans from all eras who served in the Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, Coast Guard, and war <clears throat> excuse me, wartime merchant marine. I would like to now invite <clears throat> all right. um, many of our, we, there were so many people that helped contribute to this garden. So I would like to invite um, many of them were here today up here. There were a total of 54 donors to this project, including the American Legion Post 1080, the American Veterans Motorcycle Riders, Mr. and Mrs. Bill Benoit, Kenneth Grudis, Heroes West Sports Grill, Jones Elementary School, Mr. John Contos, Mr. and Mrs. Larry Coppin, Shoreward Glen Veterans Group, and many, many individuals. Special thanks to Sue Buston for nominating this project and to the Joliet Township Government Board members and Supervisor Dan Vera for donating $100,000 that allows us to move forward. Diana, can you please join me up at the podium? Now I'd like to invite our memorial squad for the flag.
sit on the table and do it? Yeah. Okay. Don't go too far. Thank you. Oh, I turned it off. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. And we um, accept that flag on behalf of all our patients and families and staff, and we will continue to do our good work. Now I'd like to invite, uh, we're gonna have a ribbon cutting ceremony. So I would like to invite some of our dignitaries up. Dan Vera, Sue Buston, any township board members, Congressman Foster, any uh, Joliet Area Community Hospice board members, Bill and Margaret Benoit, John Contos, Ken Grudis. I think that's everybody. So we're going to stand over here, right? Right over here. Yeah, right over right here. here. We're going to do it face to face. Well, it we like to be smooth around through. here. Thank you. I apologize we had our back to you, but this is the um, entrance of the garden, so we wanted the cutting to happen there. All right, now I would like to introduce Jim Shepard to the podium. Self, Mike stand next to you. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody, and thank you for joining the uh, Joliet Area Community Hospice and celebrating those military men and women who gave the last full me measure of devotion, first observed by President Lincoln at Gettysburg in 1863. Today's activities are aided by a group of military veteran volunteers whose duty and privilege it is to recognize and honor hospice patients who served in the Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, Coast Guard, and Merchant Marine. Through a solemn pinning ceremony, we assure hospice veteran patients and their families that the bravery and sacrifices so often made many years ago will never be forgotten. We are also available to provide comfort to fellow veterans in any way we are able. Our military service may have been years past, but we remain soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen, and will always be warriors at heart. Memorial Day was once called Decoration Day, set aside to commemorate and honor Civil War dead by decorating the graves and reflecting on sacrifices so recently made. The name given the day is unimportant as is the day of the month. What is important is that the day be held sacred. Like some of us, I retired wearing the green uniform. I left military service with all my fingers and toes, with all my limbs, both eyes, and some of my hearing. <laughs> Countless brave men and women came home missing limbs and with other physical, mental, and emotional trauma. Too many never touched the precious soil of home again. Those are the ones we remember today. It is their memory that causes this day to be sacred. September 11th, 2001 was a cruel reminder of the dangerous world we live in. I am grateful to God that there are those called to make the sacrifices necessary to protect us from those who would do us harm. As stated in A Few Good Men, 
They stand on a wall and say, nothing's going to harm you tonight, not on my watch. To everyone standing and to all of those who have stood on that wall, we thank you and God bless you. To those many who have laid their lives down on that wall, rest in peace, my brothers and sisters. In 1915, shortly after World War I, John McRae wrote, to you from falling hands we throw, the torch be yours to hold it high. If you break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep though poppies grow in Flanders Field. Also in 1915, Wayne uh, Michael wrote, we cherish too the poppy red that grows in fields where valor, valor led. It seems to signal to the skies the blood of heroes never dies. Ready, Cliff? Mm -hmm. Is is this one? It's the mic down again. <laughs> on? This one. Oh, this one. <laughs> Sorry about that. We are here to read the names of the people. Eldon Van Alwyn. Sherman R. Anderson. Donald 
Anderson. Dennis Austin. Edward Ballard. Joseph Bansis. Frederick Bach. Donald L. Beecher. Edward J. Beck. Julius Bell. Michael Bennett. John Burchinsky. Thomas Banco. Richard D. Blair. James Bevins. Billy R. Blue. Jerry N. Blummer. Jerry V. Bobeck. Robert Bonshi. Larry Burgo. Robert R. Bordage. Raymond Brayton. Bradenton. John A. Breen. Johnny Brown. Paul Burkott. Everett A. Bruce. John Brendan. Eugene Caddy. Robert Cagwin. John L. Calabisi. William H. Carpenter. Laverne Carter. Joseph Michael Gettys. Uh, David R. Coachman. Lorraine Cole. Kenneth R. Connor. Gail Coop. Gerald O. Craig. William Crowell. David T. Curtis. William J. DeVito. Paul D. Frank Delvote. Julio Del Rio. Daniel Deems. Sammy Dent. Robert Dua. Brian E. Donaldson. Richard Dorset. Bernard Doherty. Casimir B. Dudek. Orville L. Erskine. Carl S. Frettel. George Fehrenbacher. Monroe M. Fields. 
Robert V. Fields. Edward Rico Forgetty. Marshall J. Forrest. Lloyd M. Fredenhall, Jr. Joseph Frit Fredders. Virgil Fritz. Raymond Funk. Virgil A. Greck. Lee E. Gale. Jean F. Gang. Morris Edward Gardner. Clint J. Garnett. Albert Jinker. Richard A. Gilmore. Leroy Gilmore. Frank M. Gomez. John Gorman. Marvin W. Gornick. Russell C. Goshen. Archie L. Green. Calvin Gifts. Norbert D. Gonzenza. Kenneth Gives. Russell Haley. David Hand. Richard Day Hanslack. Emil R. Harden. Alan Hart. Walter Hassey. Orville Henderson. Evan W. Hinstix. James Hillman. Harold Hudson. Alan Hughes. Phyllis Hun. Kenneth E. Ivinson. Rodaldo Ruiz. Cyril Charles Johnson. Raymond L. Johnson. Richard Johnson. Charles Jordan. Michael Keller. Richard Kramsick. Thomas A. Gant. Wayne Purcell. James L. Keen. Edward L. Kelly. Raymond C. Kinney. Odell Kittleson. John S. Klein. Horst Knopp. Richard A. Corner. Paul E. Copez. William A. Cordick. Keith M. Corsling. Vincent William Kippel. David Kruger.
Edward J. Lace. James Lally. Joseph Lamaki. Robert Lambert. Sherwood Glenn Honored Veteran Bartholomew Bartlapapa. James Leahy. Andrew Lesko. Harold Lieberman. Raymond Lishing. Frank Lutz. Louis Macchietto. Joseph Malesich. Michael Dennis Malloy. Daniel Q. Morosia. Joseph Martika. Francis Matusik. Joseph Marvin. William Mayberry. Quinn Mazuka. Terence McCarthy. Michael M. Mejia. Francis G. Myers. Richard Miller. Robert J. Minerich. Richard M. Manella. Joseph R. Mirabelli. Anthony A. Moaro. Aldo Molo. Richard M. Moore. Ronald Moran. Gerald L. Mudrock. James Mulcahy. Robert W. Mulhall. John J. Murley. James Murray. Sam B. Myers. Ralph J. McCleskey. Theodore F. Nutting. John O'Connell. Bob D. Odom. Mitchell Ogiego. James H. Hansen. Steve Orlovich. James Otis. James Paris. Walter Pasco. Edward Picard. Edward Raplansky. Leonard A. Peretta. Charles J. Perry. Antoinette Petrovic. James L. Pike. Raymond Podus Pozunius. James Polycondiotis Triotis. Gerald Joseph Pomals. Frank Preet. Jack J. Quas. Robert Rains. Greg Riffle. Arthur Rigoni. Lee Rinker. Wilbur Rodiguero. William R. Rowe. Leland Rowe. Gilbert Romo. Louis P. Rufati. Louis N. Rupert. John R. Sanders. Stanley J. Sarna. Robert Schlinger. David Andrew Schump. Richard Segabarth. Richard Sienko. James Simmons. Eldon Wayne Sitzes. Leif Scrodow. Russell A. Smeltz. John Schmidt. Charles J. Smith. Charles T. Smith. Irvin Spry. Joseph A. Stack. William F. Stello. Laverne F. Stemke. Robert Stillman. Joseph Serlak. Harold Shimonsky. Joseph Michael Tamborski. Francis Tolis. 
Jeremiah M. Tui, Richard E. Urchell, Gordon Vaxdahl, Donald Versey, Robert Wagner, Cyril L. Wagner, Donald L. Walden, William Waltz, Walter Warren, Vernon Warren Warriner, Charles W. Weiss, John A. Whalen, William Hwari, William M. Wheeler, Robert Whitman, Curtis G. Williams, Richard Winke, Frank Wolensek, David P. Wozniak, Walter Wright, Francis Zarley, Simon Zagar, John Zerlentis, John F. Zygmunt, John F. Zogar, John J. Zupancic. Thank you. the flag now? Okay, this brings us to the closing of our ceremony. Um, before I forget, I want to thank um, Congressman Foster. We have a bill in front of the governor right now to add more beds to our hospice home. So thank you for your support on that. Um, and I can officially say summer is here, in case you were concerned. Um, so a couple of things before we actually have in the next piece. Um, I would like to quote Abraham Lincoln who at Gettysburg said the following, it is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this, but in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here, have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note 
nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. For our veterans, their loved ones and friends, may all who visit this garden sense God's divine touch and comforting presence. For generations to come, may all who visit this property long remember those who have served, especially those who gave their last full measure of devotion. The last part of our morning is an invitation to walk around the pond. I'm gonna quote the Dalai Lama. Just as ripples spread out when a single pebble is dropped into water, the actions of individuals can have far-reaching effects. So we invite you to follow our bagpiper around the pond, drop a pebble in, and as you do, think of the ripples of those who have served our country, those you have loved, and the impact that that ripple has on all of us. Thank you all for being here today. Your support is immeasurable. Thank you. Oh, right. Also meant to say there are refreshments. Please hydrate. Those of you who've been sitting in the sun and have suits on especially. Um, so there's uh, refreshments over by the front door. Thank you. <laughs>